Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Evelyn. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the new Spring 2024 Studio McGee collection. Now I know what you're all thinking, it's not even Christmas yet and here we are talking about spring and I totally agree with you guys. They did this last year too. They released everything the day after Christmas so they're going to be doing that again this year but this year they are going to be giving us a preview of their collection. Both Hearth and Hand and Studio McGee released their preview so I wanted to share what you can expect from the collection in case you like anything and then when December 26 comes you can purchase the items that you really like. So I have my laptop right here and we're going to go through the collection together to see what they came out with. So I'm going to start off with their decorative pieces and their decorative vases. So the first piece that caught my eye and I really wanted to share with you guys is this beautiful ceramic textured bowl. I love the color of it. I love the texture to it. It looks very high-end and designer. Something that we would probably see from their McGee & Co website. It is about 8.5 inches in diameter so it's a really good size and it's only $20 which is not bad compared to some other prices that we've seen from their collection so I really like this one. Perfect to style on a coffee table, on your shelf, in your kitchen and it doesn't seem to have those peachy pinky undertones that her things tend to have so I'm very excited to see what this looks like in person and to see if I'm going to be picking it up. Another bowl that she came out with is this ceramic carved bowl this one has kind of like a stone look to it almost like travertine this one is a little pricier it is $30 but it is 11 inches in diameter so it's a little bit bigger and this one has some really pretty carved detailing that I really like again perfect to style on a coffee table on top of a book on your shelves or even to use in the kitchen to style like some items on an island or something so I love the look of this one and they do have the matching vases so they have the short carved ceramic vase this one is $25 again it has that carved detailing and that stone look which is very pretty so this one is almost seven inches tall and then they have a taller version that one is $35 and nine inches tall so a little bit taller they do have them styled together here on a shelf and they look beautiful again it doesn't seem to have that peachy undertone so i'm hoping they don't have it in person because they are really pretty another bowl that they have is this metal wavy bowl in like a brass color this is 25 dollars and it is a statement this one is about 11 inches in diameter so it's pretty big i will say i'm not a fan of the shape or the tone of gold that they chose it looks very green and yellow so I would probably pass on this one just because it's not my style and I don't think it would go with the rest of my decor. This next item is absolutely beautiful. It is this beautiful travertine dish bowl. This one is $25. This is definitely right up my alley. You guys know I love travertine. I own a box and a tray that are both made out of travertine so this is such a beautiful item and such a simplistic way to bring texture into your space. They came out with two types of decorative boxes this year. First off is this I don't know how to pronounce this shagreen box with the lid kind of looks like leather and they have two different sizes so they have the small for $15 and then they have the larger one for $20 it is kind of like a burnt brown orangey color and they do have the matching tray as well which is $25 it's kind of like an oval shape and it has some handles on it and they also have another decorative box this is their ceramic reactive glaze box in a green color this is $25 and it has a very unique shape to it it's not like a box or round it has some dimension to it which is really nice and I also like that it's glazed I haven't seen something like that before so I like that they added that different texture they also have the matching tray so this one is also green and has that glazed look this one is $20 and it's a hexagon shape it looks pretty big and they have it styled on a coffee table which is a great place to style your trays they also released this beautiful round marble decorative box this one is $20 and it does come with a white marble lid with this like little knob detail on the top this one is about five inches in diameter so it's pretty small but you can use it as storage which I love now moving on to some of their vases, they do have this ceramic butter vase, again with that reactive glaze in like a turquoise color. This one is $10, it's about 5 inches tall, so it's perfect if you have small stems that you want to style for spring. Maybe you can add 
some baby's breath, some lavender. They also have this single handle ceramic vase. This one is on the pricier side. It is $40 and I think it's because it has that vintage look so it kind of reminds you of the vases that you see in those vintage shops. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's very orangey and peachy. I wish they made it a little bit more neutral. If you like the shape but not the color, remember you can always paint it but for $40 you might as well find something like at Home Goods or Facebook Marketplace that you can paint. This next vase is a very unique shape. It is their ceramic column vase with reactive glaze. I love how they have a different color around the rim and I love the shape of it. It's very different, very unique and it's only $25 so compared to the $40 one this is a better price. They also have another neutral vase. This one is their ceramic textured decorative vase. This one is white I believe. It's like a creamy white and it has so much texture. This one is $25 and they did come out with some planters but you can honestly use these as vases as well if you want that oversized look. So they have one that is plastic but it has that stone look so they have two different sizes. They have one that is 12 inches and it's more skinny and long and then they also have one that is 14 inches. This one is wider. Again if you want that oversized vase look then you can use these planters as that. They are both $50 which is pretty pricey since they are plastic and then they also have this concrete planter with an antique finish. I do love the look of this one. They do have two different sizes so the medium is $25 and then the large one is $40 which is a better price than the plastic one and this one is concrete so if I were to choose between the both of them I would probably go with this one. Moving on to their baskets they do have quite a few baskets. They have this large woven basket with some handles and they have two like different tones to it. It is $55 which is pretty pricey for a basket to be honest. They also have it in a smaller size that is $40 and then they also have the matching tray so this is their oval rim woven tray. Again it has those two different tones. This one is $30. The candle she released this year is very different. It is a two wick 18 ounce ceramic candle with a knob lid and it's $15. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't think it's my style. I'm not really a fan of the look of it. I'm sure with the lid off it would look very high-end but I think the lid is kind of throwing me off it doesn't look like a candle when it's closed so she does have it in two different colors in a cream color and also in that sage green color okay so we are going to move on to some wall art and this next item is probably one that I'm going to be picking up it's so pretty and beautiful it's this 16 by 12 moody trees framed wall canvas board it is $23 I love the frame to it that it's kind of like antique looking. I love how moody it is. It's definitely not springy but you guys know I love anything that's moody and dark so I love this piece. I really want it to style it on my shelves. You can also do the stacked art on a wall. Kind of the look that I have going in my hallway nook I'm sure it would look beautiful there so I'm very excited about this piece. Another art piece that they have is this 12 by 18 travel Polaroid framed wall wall art in a gold color. This one is also $23. So it has a Polaroid in the center with like a piece of tape kind of making it look handmade and like it's your Polaroid picture. The only thing I don't like about this piece is how yellow the gold is. I wish they kind of muted it down kind of like they did for the last one. I do love the overall look and idea that they went for but you can probably recreate it with a frame that you already have. Next up is this 30 by 30 blurry treetops framed canvas board. This one definitely looks more abstract and it's more of a statement. It is $60 but I do love how they have it styled. It's very moody so if you're into that moody dark wall art this one is perfect for you. Next up I wanted to talk about their accent pillows and their throw blankets. So the first one is this woven striped throw pillow. So she has three different sizes. She has the oversized square which is a 24 by 24 and that is $35. The 20 by 20 is $25 and then the lumbar one is $22. I love that it's not a very bold striped pattern. It's very neutral. This pillow is perfect to style 
style with a pattern pillow so if you want more of a neutral pillow that you want to layer this one is perfect she also has another neutral one this one is also a 24 by 24 and it is 35 dollars i love the color of this one and the texture that it has so it has that like linen look but then it also has this other texture which i'm not sure what it is but it is beautiful again perfect to layer with a pattern pillow another one that i loved is this lumbar throw pillow it comes in three different colors and it is 30 dollars so it comes in a dark tan a clay pink and that sage green color i personally love the dark tan the picture that they have online makes it look very yellowy but when they have it styled it looks like a very pretty neutral brown kind of reminds me of one that they released last year so i might pick that one up but i'm noticing that i have a lot of lumbar pillows i don't think i need another lumbar pillow but if i were to need one that would be one that i would pick up moving on to some of her pattern pillows she has this block print square throw pillow and she does have two different colors again that light sage color and also blue this one is 25 dollars and it is a 20 by 20 this one would look perfect style next to the other neutral ones and she also has some floral ones so if you really like that floral pattern look for spring so she has this one that is 25 dollars and it's kind of like a moss green color with some pinks and creams so it's really pretty for spring she also released a few bunny accents in her collection so she has two different throw pillows that have little bunnies on it and she also released a crocheted egg throw pillow which is really cute if you celebrate easter this one comes in three different colors and it is 25 dollars and it wouldn't be a studio mcgee collection if she didn't release some throw blankets so she has three different styles she has this really pretty checkered knit throw so she has four different colors she has it in a cream neutral color and also in a dark tan which kind of looks like a mustard color and then blue and also steel it is $30 she also has this raised stripe chunky throw blanket this one is $35 and it also has different color options so it has that dark tan a sage and also a cream and last but not least she has this framed I don't know how to pronounce this word jacquard knit throw blanket it is $25 so she has it in a sage green with cream accents and also in a tan this one is $25 so moving on I did want to share the lamps that she came out with they are really really good so she did release three different lamps and the first one is this natural wicker table lamp this one reminds me so much of a vase that she has on her McGee Co website that is $200 I think it's their Antonio woven vase so this lamp is very similar to that if you've been wanting that vase this is a perfect kind of look-alike but in a lamp form so it has that pleated lampshade which is so pretty you guys know I love pleated lampshades it is $70 she also came out with a ceramic table lamp it is a sage green color and it's round and it kind of has like this rope detailing around it this one is $60 and then last but not least she came out with a floor lamp this one again has that pleated lampshade and it has a brass iron base this one is adjustable which is really nice it is hundred and ten dollars and I love that it's kind of curved so you can have it over an accent chair or over a sofa and that would look so pretty okay so she also came out with some arrangements she always comes out with some type of arrangement every year and this time she released another olive leaf arrangement she usually does this every year in like a different vase so she released one again this year and it is $35 I love the vase that it comes in and I also love that it has some texture to it it's not just one solid color she also has another one that is a sweet pea floral arrangement it is $20 and it has these really pretty pink stems to it again the vase is textured so it's not just one solid white color if you love that pop of color during spring this one would be perfect for you this next one is really cute and different it's this baby's breath arrangement I love the vase that she chose for this one it's very different kind of like that vase that I showed you guys earlier and she put these beautiful baby breath stems in it nice to see that she came out with an arrangement that will last you a very long time it is $15 so I don't think the price is bad at all and sticking to the baby's breath she also released a wreath it is a 24 inch baby's breath wreath it is $40 and it's absolutely beautiful this would look so nice on your front door year-round it has this really pretty bow on it I just love that it's not 
not just baby's breath she added some greenery to it as well so it definitely has that spring look which i love she also released another olive tree it is a 72 inch olive tree in the cement pot it is 170 dollars which is really pricey and to be honest i'm not a fan of the pot i think it's very orangey for me i kind of wish she did something more on the black or neutral side just so that it fits in everyone's home i'm so in love with the furniture pieces that she released for this collection they are beautiful starting off with some accent chairs this wooden caned accent chair in this dark walnut color is so pretty it is 350 dollars, so it's pricey but i love the look to it it looks very high-end very expensive and i love the detailing on the cushions as well it does have the matching ottoman and that is 135 dollars. i kind of wish you bundled them together because it's almost 500 dollars if you purchase both to get the complete look but nonetheless it is absolutely beautiful i love how dark woods are coming back and this is a beautiful accent chair. They also have the matching bench, which is just so pretty. If you have an entryway or anywhere where you could put this, I would definitely get it. It is so pretty. I could just imagine it styled with a throw blanket and throw pillows. It's just absolutely beautiful. I just love that whole little collection within itself. So the bench is $225, so it's less expensive than the chair. She also has this wing arm accent chair in this velvet beige color so pretty it is 360 dollars i love the neutral look to it the only thing that i kind of don't like is like the little detailing on the arms i mean it does add some very pretty visual interest kind of wish it was more of like a straight line because it's kind of throwing me off but it is absolutely beautiful another furniture item is this wooden console table again that dark wood tone is definitely coming back so this one retails for 250 dollars and she also came out with the matching accent table that is 175 dollars it also has that fluted look to it and that dark wood tone and they do have a lighter wood option for you guys they have this bleached oak console table in this natural wood color it is $300 I love how different the shape is and how they have it styled in this entryway it looks really nice she did release so many new kitchen items and outdoor furniture but if I were to show you guys all of that we would be here forever I did want to share one of my favorites from her kitchen items and they are these plates that have this beautiful texture on them it does come in a set of four for $20 and I believe that they have the matching bowls and larger plates so that is a beautiful set i really wish i could go through the whole collection with you guys and show you guys what i like and what i don't like but we would be here forever if i did do that so i will have the whole collection linked down below for you guys in case you want to check it out and start picking out your favorites so that when it is released you can purchase them again it will be released the day after christmas on december 26 i'm hoping my target releases the hearth and hand collection very soon so that i can show you guys that collection in person person in a shop with me video anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and until next time bye